So here we are, here's the boom file. Now this has been done uh, using sketches. We've been looking at sketches and the sketch tools in here. We didn't do this one with the sketch tools in here because they're quite difficult to use. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you how you can use third party programs to um, bring into 123D design. Okay, and the program we're going to use is Inkscape, which is down here on the taskbar. I'll click that, and there it is there. Here is the boom file, and it was put together like this. I'll just put these back up in the right place, so they're kind of up here. All these pieces were drawn using the drawing tools that are available in this program called Inkscape. Inkscape's free, and it works. Uh, it outputs as SVG files, which are scalable vector graphics, which can be imported into 123 Design, so it makes it very, very cool. So that's how I sort of drew it, but then I knew I wanted to extrude this in 3D, so I needed to break apart these components and put them in the right place. So I'll just go Control-Z and put them all back in the right place, like that, and click off. And then I need to output this file. So I'm just going to go File, Save As, and I'll call this Boom 3, and because Boom 2 is on the desktop already, so I'll hit Save, and that's all good. And then that's all we need to do in this program. I'll, I'll do a tutorial on how to use it later on, but for now it's just to show you how you can use it. So back to 123D Design and a blank canvas. We go up to our hidden menu, which is this one here, and we go Import SVG. We've been doing sketches, so we'll import it as a sketch. So I'll click that, and I'll go onto the desktop, which it is, scroll down until I get Boom uh, 3, open it up, and there it is. It's brought through a sketch, uh, or a series of sketches, really. And now all I need to do is to um, extrude these up and then assemble it. So to extrude it, two different ways, click on one of the sketches, go to the pill that comes down, the drop down menu, hit extrude, type in an amount, I think we'll go for 7 mils on this one, 7 enter, that's done. Do the next one at the same, but this time what I'll do actually is I'll go straight up through here. So you can go construct, extrude, then click it, and then type in the measurements. So it just depends on which way you can remember the easiest. So I'll do three at once. So I'll hold down shift, get the pill, hit extrude, and I'll make that seven as well. There we go. So we've got them all done. Now it's just a simple matter of assembling. So we know how to do that using our widgets. I select one of the pieces, hit control T, move it along like that. I should have only moved it about uh, seven mils up because that's how thick the other one was and you just got to use your orbiting and things like that just to get it in the right place so that's a bit too low notice that when you've got quite detailed sketches in here the program slows down quite a bit so the first thing I'm going to do now is select this sketch here and delete it and that will actually help speed the um, program up a wee bit hit delete there we go and now it's not so laggy. So I'll click there, Control T, fine tune the movement of that, grab the top arrow, pull that down slightly, and that's looking pretty good. And then it's just a matter of doing the same sort of thing with um, the each of the letters. Okay, so I should probably do that using the proper tools, Control T. So I'll go Control T, whoops, there we go, move it up, move it across, and away we go, assemble. So this does take a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. Once you get it in the right place, it's going to look quite cool. Um, the other thing is that you can do all the other things that you'd like with that. Um, I'll move that across there, that's cool. One other thing, this is supposed to go directly in the middle, so I might just be able to use the magnet tool on that one. So I'll click magnet there, then magnet there. There we go, that's brilliant. Put it in the right place. And then we'll grab that one. And control T. Lift that up slightly. Should be around about 14 millimeters. And move across. Zoom it along there. Pan around. And there we go. 
it doesn't matter if it's sort of fitting into the other objects at all and there we go that's looking good then it's just a matter of using anything else that you want you can add to this you can actually put other objects on it you can drill holes in it do all sorts of things and then you're pretty much good to go and you can start printing you can use fillet and all those sorts of things you could fillet the circles put a, a nice radius in there do so, stuff like that and it's pretty much up to you once you know how to do that so all we did was just to recap we built something in Inkscape export it as an SVG file so that was save as then we went into um, 123D imported as an SVG extruded it assembled it and put it in the right place and it's all sort of ready to go now there you go.